So in this lesson, we're going to create this uh, cool logo reveal effect using trap code particular. So I'm just going to create a new composition, 720p, 200 frames duration. I'm going to drag and drop this PlayStation logo into my composition. So first I'm going to pre-comp this logo. I'm going to go to layer, pre-compose, and I'm going to call this logo comp. I'm going to make this a 3D layer. Next, I'm going to create a solid and I'm going to call it part for trap code particular. I'm going to go to effect trap code and I'm going to add particular. I'm just going to hide my logo comp now. So we get the default uh, trap code particular animation. I'm going to set emitter to layer, emitter type. I'm going to set it to layer. And where it says layer emitter, I'm just going to open this up. I'm going to choose layer my logo comp. And now we're emitting particles from my logo. So I'm just going to increase the particles per second to about 1,500. I'm going to set velocity to zero, all four of these values. I'm going to set to zero. And where it says emission extras, I'm going to set pre-run to 100. So basically when the animation starts, the logo is already formed. Next, I'm going to come to about uh, frame 120, maybe frame 150. I'm going to go to physics. I'm going to open up the air tab. I'm going to open up turbulence field. And where it says effect position, um, I'm going to increase this like so. I'm going to place a keyframe. And then around frame 20, I'm going to set effect position to zero. So we get this type of animation. Now this is moving a bit fast. So I'm going to go to evolution speed and I'm going to set it to 20. That's a lot nicer. Um, next, I'm going to go to particle. I'm going to set the feathering to zero. And I'm going to animate the size from five to about one at the beginning. So we might get this uh, jittering, which is quite annoying. So to kind of prevent this kind of uh, glitchy flickering, I'm going to go to my emitter size Z and I'm going to set this to one. So lastly, I'm just going to go to particles per second and I'm going to set a keyframe here to zero and I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm going to give it uh, maybe 12,000 so we get this kind of result. So I'm just going to play this back and that's quite nice. Oh, I think we have a bit of glitching going on. I'm just going to set emitter size Z to zero. That seems to get rid of the glitch. Okay. And I'm just going to increase the lifespan of these particles a bit more. So I'm going to give them maybe five. And we get this nice effect here. Okay. Uh, so the last section is basically um, blending this with the original logo. Um, I'm just going to call this composition logo form, hit OK, and then I'm just going to duplicate this logo form, and then I'm going to create a new composition called logo basic. And this is just simply going to have the end logo. So we have logo form here, and logo basic, which is just the logo image. So now I'm going to create a third composition. I'm not sure what this is. Oh no, that's a logo comp. Uh, I'm just going to drag and drop logo basic into my um, composition icon. And I'm just going to name this final comp. So this is where we're going to do all our kind of editing. We've already got logo basic in here. So I'm just going to drag and drop logo form into this composition. I'm going to go to the end. 
uh, I'm going to right click logo form. I'm going to go to time, time reverse layer. So we can see this taking shape. It's playing backwards. So I'm going to do a simple crossfade at the end. So I'm going to hit T. Going to keyframe them both. Then I'm going to move to about here. Uh, set them to zero. So logo basic. I'm just going to flip these uh, keyframes around. And this is actually pretty good. The simple crossfade actually looks quite effective. But uh, we can basically add some scatter to this logo basic. I'm just going to go to effect, stylize. I'm going to add scatter. I'm going to set the keyframe and I'm just going to increase the scatter to about 46. And then here, I'm going to make it zero. So it just blends a bit better. That's maybe too much. So I'm just going to try 15. So that looks not bad. And lastly, we can add a linear wipe. So I'm just going to go to my effects and presets panel. I'm going to type linear and I'm going to drag and drop the linear wipe onto logo basic. I'm going to come to the middle here where the transition's happening. And you can see this effect. Uh, it's just a simple wipe. So I'm just going to set the wipe angle to zero. And we want it to end with zero, so I'm just going to come to the end, insert a keyframe for zero percent, and then come here and give it a hundred percent. And I want this transition to happen a bit sooner, so I'm just going to hit U, and then these linear wipe keyframes I'm going to bring forward a bit. And I'm just going to add some feathering. Uh, we can now get rid of the opacity animation because we're using the um, linear wipe. And it's just all about just balancing these keyframes um, to get a nice result. It's a bit too fast for my liking. Maybe something like that. So we're just kind of adjust to taste. So that's the end of this tutorial. If you found it useful, please share this. And thanks for watching.